According to Lawrence Berkeley Labs, just to put a point on it, about 47% of American homes have a mold or moisture problem of significance. So it's a big, big number. Why is mold such a problem these days? Well, actually, since 1945, when we started having to build faster, cheaper homes to meet the demand of the baby boomers, we began introducing different building materials that were less durable, that were more mold friendly. You know, back then we built with plaster, stone, brick, concrete. These kinds of things get wet, they dry out. And no matter how long they get wet, mold doesn't doesn't grow on them. But we replace that with, especially plaster, sheetrock, fluffy insulation inside the walls, which holds water. So, you know, all of our building materials these days are essentially disposable. And that's not the way buildings were built before 1945. So since then, most of the new construction, 75% of current homes are sheathed in the interior with sheetrock. And that is mold food. Mold loves the paper, the sheetrock. This is sort of a paper sandwich. And it also is very absorptive. So it holds the water and it provides nutritional support. So that's really the sort of bedrock of the mold problem in the United States. And it's part of the reason why it's such a concentrated problem here in the United States. It's not such a problem in many other countries that are still using a lot of the legacy materials.